So now we can come and we can start thinking about doing our next component. So let's go back over here to the website and let's scroll down here. Let's look at this something you need to know section. So I'm going to inspect the element there and let's make sure we get this whole section here. So it starts right with this section right here and I'll edit it as HTML. Control A to select the whole thing and Control C to copy. Then we'll come back over here and in our components, we'll create a new component file. So a new file, and we'll call this grid.svelte, okay? And in grid.svelte, we can paste this code. Now, this is gonna be really redundant because in reality, we're going to loop through this information to create each individual item, but since this is static HTML that we're copying, it's gonna have a lot of individual items. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. So I paste that section, and you can see here, we have all these little sections for faster response, cloud support, um, value of money, 24 service, 24 hour service, object oriented, etc. So this is exactly what we saw right in the beginning with all the different information. So we really want this clean code as the first one, and then we can get rid of the rest of these here. So I'm going to copy everything below that. I'm going to get rid of that. That looks good. And I'll, I can give a little space here just to make it clear that that's that component there and we'll give some space like that. Next thing I might wanna do is just give a little space with this header here. So, okay, so we have the title, then we have that section, and then we have the surrounding uh, text on the outside. So that's okay, so I'm gonna save that. And I want to come through here, and again, I wanna replace these hard-coded values like this with the variables from our content source. So I'm gonna come up here, and I'll create a script tag to pull in those variables, and we'll do, uh, an export let and then the grid let's check out the data source for the grid I'm gonna move this over so I can see it easier and we'll take a look down here so we have our grid and our data source has some uh, fields that have title and items okay so we can do title and items that's our top level data source there and now over here we can use the title so this is the main title for the grid so we'll say something like this title and for the items we're going to do a for loop so we'll do each items as item and we'll close the loop down here so close our each loop here and then we want to insert some values for each one of these items so for the h4 we want this to be the item title so we'll say give us item.title. And then for this section here, we want this to be the body. So I'll grab this and delete this. Item.body. And then the last thing we have here is the icon. So we have these little icons. And now that's coming in through the class here, right? So that's what we had discussed earlier. And so this pulse will be a variable as well. And this will be item.icon. Okay, so that should work there like that. Let's just fix the spacing on this real quick. I'll move this over a little bit and save this. And let me just look back over here. Okay, and then we have to make sure that we're pulling this in over here correctly. So this should be set up already. So the index, that spell file, it's going through the components. It's going to hit the hero first and then it should hit the um, grid component that we just created. And again, it should put grid here instead of uh, the hero that I went through the first time. And it should still spread the fields, which in this case for the grid are gonna be these two fields. Fields are gonna be title and items. So it's gonna spread those. And then once it has the item spread out, inside that it's going to loop through the items and it's going to get these three values. Right here, it's gonna loop through items, get those three values, and put the icon, the title, and the body in over here. So once it's set, we just make sure it's saved, and we'll come back over here to our website here, and let me just close out this. So right now there's nothing there, but if I reload, come down, okay. So we're getting close. Like again, some of the spacing of this, some of the stuff's off, because we're really doing this component stuff without like thinking about the wrappers for the components, but we can go back and we can do that in a little bit. For now, it looks like let me see, the color, is the color correct? It's hard to tell when it's only a little bit showing. Let's see here. The 
it looks like a bluish color. So the color is not quite right. We'll fix that um, as well. Um, let's see here. It looks like the icons aren't quite showing. Let's see what's going on there. Close out this. So we have the pulse here, supposedly. And okay, and then over here, let's make sure we have the right thing there. So we have package, okay. So those are right. The thing that's happening here is we actually never added the icon pack to this theme. So we uh, we went through and we put all the right icons in place, but there's no icon pack to actually um, promote those. So let's take a look at the Themify icon pack here. So I'm not seeing a CDN, so maybe we can just put this in manually. Let's go back over to our downloads folder where we downloaded this previously. And I'm gonna extract this. So I'm gonna extract the Themify icons and we'll just put it right in the downloads folder for now. Okay, we can close out of this. And let's look at Themify icons. Let's come over here to the website that we're referencing. Let's see what they're doing to reference the Themify icons. So inside the head, we have this Themify icons, Themify icons.css. So we have Themify icons, Themify icons.css. So let's grab this whole folder here and let's put it into our project. So I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to put this into our assets for now. So I'm gonna grab Themify icons, put it in here. I'm going to copy folder. So now we have Themify icons and then in here we have a lot of files like our Themify icons.css right here. That's a file that we're interested in. And let's just make sure we've added this to our project. So let me just expand this and let's go back to the head. So the head is the place that holds all our metadata in our style sheets. And let's copy the example from the website here. So we have Themify icons. I'm going to edit this as HTML. And I'm gonna copy this. And we'll come over here to our website. And I'm just going to add this style sheet here. And instead of this long URL that goes to the remote site that we're copying. We're just going to change this to be our local copy that we have. So it's gonna be in our assets folder, and Themify icons, okay. It's a style sheet, that's good. So if I save that now, we come back to our site. Let's make sure we're on the plenty version. Reload this, okay. So that's good, the icons are coming through there now. That's good. Some of the spacing and things are off a little bit. That's okay still. We can go back through and make some small adjustments.